The Medicine Buddha mandala sometimes needs a little bit more explanation than a lot of other mandalas. Mandalas can be very generic, uh, basically meaning um, center and circumference. Um, in Buddhism, they're uh, meditational uh, objects, but not from the point of view of objectively looking at them, but from the point of view of subjectively, mentally imagining them and imagining oneself at the center. So with Medicine Buddha, uh, we have really three um, topics that need to be looked at to understand uh, uh, what's going on with Medicine Buddha Mandalas. So, so the first topic is the central figure. Second topic is the shape. And the third topic is uh, the mandala configuration itself. So for the central figure, one would assume that uh, it is Medicine Buddha. Well, that's true. And in many cases, it is uh, Medicine Buddha at the center, surrounded by eight figures around. Um, but what we do find is that often the goddess or the, the, the Buddha or the personification of wisdom, Prajnaparamita herself, can be placed at the center of a Medicine Buddha mandala. And when she's uh, pictured in a, in a human divine form, then she has one face and four arms, orange or yellow in color. Uh, and uh, Medicine Buddha himself is then relegated to one of the eight uh, spots surrounding the central figure of Prajnaparamita. So we have Buddha, the Medicine Buddha can be at the center, or we can have Prajnaparamita. Now, Rather than Prajnaparamita, we very often have simply the book. We have, we have uh, an Indian folio text placed in the middle of the mandala, and uh, we have uh, Medicine Buddha again in the surrounding uh, circumference with the other seven Buddha brothers. So that's the, the central figure issue. We have Medicine Buddha, we have the goddess, the deity, Prajnaparamita, and then we have uh, a, a symbol of Prajnaparamita. We have the book itself. Now in terms of shape, uh, generally mandalas are round. Uh, very early on, going back to, I don't know, 4th, 5th, 6th century, then you could find some mandalas which were square. And uh, we still have some square mandalas going into the second millennium. But coming up to modern times, we really only have um, uh, two uh, uh, mandala configurations which can generally be considered square, and that is Medicine Buddha. Now, Medicine Buddha doesn't always have a square mandala. It can also have uh, um, a circle around it, uh, but we do have this variation. You can find Medicine Buddha either in a round mandala or you can find him in a square mandala. Um, now, the other deity, which is commonly found in a square mandala, is Vaishravana, riding a lion. He's a, he's a protector, quasi-wealth deity. Okay, now the third topic here is mandala configuration. So, with a mandala, mandalas can be of many different types. You can have um, symbol mandalas, element mandalas, letter mandalas. You can have uh, a, a simplified mandala where you have a lot of uh, deities, but you simplify them down to one or, or more, rather than putting the full complement of figures into the mandala. So with, uh, with Medicine Buddha, we can have uh, a mandala shape, a center, a square, a circle. Um, we can have this mandala geometric structure with just a single Buddha, Medicine Buddha, in the middle. We can also have Medicine Buddha in the middle with the uh, uh, Prajnaparamita and the seven Buddha brothers surrounding. Um, we can also have a 51 deity mandala and a 53 deity mandala. And there will probably be others. There will probably be uh, some slight uh, modifications and variations on those numbers of deities and how they are actually counted. How you count deities is actually a, a, a curious topic in Himalayan art and in tantric Buddhist iconography uh, because it's not always as simple as you think. So. Uh, this is the basics for uh, Medicine Buddha Mandalas. Um, central figure, shape, and a mandala configuration for number of deities. Uh, if you find these videos useful, then uh, please um, uh, press the like button. 
You can also subscribe. You can also share. Uh, if you want to help uh, support and sponsor Himalayan Art Resources, um, now in our 25th year of, uh, of uh, sharing uh, Himalayan art, then please join Har on Patreon.